It is Barbie time. The Barbie movie is here, but it may not be the movie you're expecting exactly. This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever. So is yesterday, and so is tomorrow, and every day from now until forever. Yes. You guys ever think about dying? Margot Robbie, great as always, is Barbie, one of many Barbies in Plastic Perfect Barbie World, but suffering an existential crisis. She journeys to the real world looking for answers, along with Ken, a very funny Ryan Gosling. Both celebrating and poking fun at Barbie, it's not a kid's movie, really. It's PG-13 for a reason. It's directed by Lady Bird's Greta Gerwig as a full-blown satire of gender politics. Often really quick and funny and subversive and meta, but also sometimes blunt force obvious and exhausting. Always smart, though, and challenging. I'm interested to see how this goes over. Definitely unique. Close call, three stars. And it is, of course, joined new in theaters as foretold by Barbenheimer, by director Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. You are the men who gave them the power to destroy themselves, and the world is not prepared. It is a towering personal epic about the man who built the atomic bomb, Robert Oppenheimer, played by Killian Murphy. Very good, alongside Matt Damon, Emily Blunt, Robert Downey Jr., terrific cast. It has sequences that are excellent and enthralling, floating amidst talky and drawn out political intrigue and Nolan's usual non-traditional narrative stylings for three hours. Gorgeous, ambitious, a little frustrating, sometimes bloody brilliant. Three stars, almost more. And hey, before we're done with theaters, a fond farewell to the Jewel Theater in Woodway. Thanks for 26 years of movies. I went back in time to save my parents, but I completely broke the universe. All right, then going from theaters to home now on premium VOD, DC's latest The Flash, guest starring Michael Keaton's Batman, also the animated movie Ruby Gilman, Teenage Kraken. I shall take it from here. And look at this, the Venture Brothers are back in a new movie. Radiant is the blood of the baboon heart, the finale to the cult favorite animated series. That's on demand. So is Prisoner's Daughter, with Brian Cox as a dying prisoner who wants to spend his last days with his estranged daughter, Kate Beckinsale. If you could pour me to the elevator that leads down to the Freaky Laboratory, I'd be out your atmosphere. Then on to streaming, where Netflix has John Boyega and Jamie Foxx in a new movie, They Clone Tyrone. They stumble onto some sort of sci-fi conspiracy in the 70s. Also, a new season of the show Sweet Magnolias and the documentary The Deepest Breath about two free divers destined to cross paths. I was the undersized scrawny kid that was just trying to figure out how to make it. Then Apple TV Plus drops Steph Curry Underrated, a documentary about that NBA star. Well, I Want to Rock, a docuseries about 80s hair metal, is new on Paramount+, Plus. who this Sunday are going to premiere Special Ops Lioness. That's the new show from the creator of Yellowstone. It stars Zoe Saldana as a terrorist hunting CIA agent, opposite no less than Nicole Kidman and Morgan Freeman. You want a shooting match? Let's go. And finally, Hulu's the place to see Tim Oliphant back in FX's new Justified sequel series, City Primeval. And in just a few days, Hulu's also going to resurrect the animated fave Futurama. Yes, first episodes in a decade. Men's gave me gift. Ow! You do you, weirdo! <laughs> That's a look at the latest from the director's chair.